Hey there, Mr. Myers is here, and in this one we're talking about converting polar equations. So this is part, this is the second video in our BC Calc for uh, unit, uh, section 9.2 in polar coordinates. So what we're going to be doing here is converting polar equations. Now, just for you to remember, uh, in the previous video we talked about, oops, it's in the previous page. We talked about these conversion equations. So we've got x squared plus y squared equals r squared, tangent of theta equals y over x, x equals r cosine theta, and y equals r sine theta. So you're going to need to remember those when we're doing these conversions from rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular. All right, so here we go. We're going to go take a look at about six examples. And the first one we have is y equals 4. So y is r, cos r sine theta. So I'm going to go ahead and make that substitution here. And I'd like for everything to be in terms of r, really, because I'm solving for r. So... There we go. We've got our equation. So polar equations are r equals something in theta. So they're um, they're functions of theta. So here we're going to also substitute x. We're going to have r cosine theta minus r sine theta plus 2 equals 0. And we're going to go ahead and throw those in there. And I'm going to go ahead and factor out the r in each of these. Move the 2 to the other side and divide. And that will be our function of r. All right, so let's take a look at the last one here. Now, if ever we see x squared and x squared plus y squared, I automatically know x squared plus y squared equals r squared. All right, so 2x is r cosine theta. So I'm going to factor out an r, and I'm going to have r minus 2 cosine theta oops, equals 0. And set each of them equal to 0 now. Now, r can't be 0, so that's not even a function. So we're really going to just have r equals 2 cosine theta. And there we go. That's our answer. All right, so that's converting rectangular to polar. Let's take a look at converting polar to rectangular. So r equals negative 2. Well, if r equals negative 2, what we're going to do here is we've got to be a little tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square r. r squared equals 4. And I know that r squared equals x squared plus y squared. All right, and then we get our answer there. So we've got a circle with a radius of 4. Again, here I'm going to square r. So I'm going to have 9 cosine squared theta. x squared plus y squared equals... 9, oops, I forgot my, it's not squared, it's, it's, I'm not squaring both sides, I'm multiplying both sides by r. It's a little bit different, and the reason I want to do that is because r cosine theta, I know that is going to be x. All right, so here's our equation. Now I can do some more simplifying for that, I can move the 3x over and do all kinds of stuff, but that's good enough, we don't need to simplify for that one. Our last one here is r equals 2 cosecant theta. So I'm going to go and convert. Whenever we see a cosecant, I really don't want cosecants or cotangents, uh, secants. I want to change them into sines and cosines. Multiply both sides. And r sine theta we know is y. So we get y equals 2. That's it. All right. So there are some quick examples of converting polar equations to parametric equations and parametric equations into polar equations. All right, we'll see you next time.